you are an aspiring sugar baby, a smex worker, stripper, or you're looking to attract a wealthy lover or just heighten your overall attraction and allure, you're gonna wanna watch this video. This is part two to my last video, so if you haven't seen that video, you're gonna wanna go and watch that. In this video, we are gonna talk about how to identify genuine and authentic Jezebel root. Now again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the other video, because we're not gonna go over all of that, but this is a video purely to make sure that you are in fact getting a real piece of Jezebel root. For whatever reason, there is a weird thing going on in the market where people are not getting real authentic Jezebel root. What they're getting instead is red mulch. So this is what it looks like. It is kind of like a wood chippy vibe and you can actually find red mulch at any like landscaping store like Home Depot or whatever the case may be. This is not real Jezebel root, but this is. You see how it looks like a root? That's because it should look like a root. It could also look like this, or it can look like this. Notice how there are these hairs and these strings kind of shooting out of it, the roots of the plant. Yeah, this is exactly what it should look like. When you are going to search for your Jezebel root, I highly suggest going on to Etsy to get your Jezebel root. You wanna make sure that you're getting it sourced from places where these types of plants come from. So the swampy soils of Louisiana and Mississippi are where these are most notably um, harvested. I also recommend buying it from a black person, but that's another conversation for another video. And before somebody asks if it's a closed practice, I go over this in great detail in my Batty Bruja membership, but I will say this. Jezebel root is used across a bunch of different spiritual practices, specifically African-American conjure, hoodoo, root workings, New Orleans conjure and New Orleans voodoo, as well as Appalachian folk magic and Native American practices. So it's used by a lot of people, lots of different people. And so I would, of course, continue to do your research, but if you're going to buy it, please buy it from a person of color. Now you can also buy it from a person of color and have that person of color bless it for you and do the working for you if you'd like. There are businesses out there that do that on your behalf. Um, you can reach out to them if you feel like you can trust them. But again, you just wanna make sure that it's authentic Jezebel Root and not something crazy. If you wanna know how to use it in spell work, Again, you're gonna have to meet me in my private space because I don't give all my tips on TikTok because you bitches are thieving assholes. Y'all love to steal from black women, so we're not doing that. Anyways, comment down below if you want more videos on sugar baby magic. Mwah.